know y'all not taking me serious with this right now. <laughs> hey beauties, it's your girl Jessica Nicole and I'm coming to you guys with a brand new video. In this video today, I will be attempting a Halloween look. As you guys can see, I don't have any makeup on except for my eyebrows because it's my first time doing this. And I want you guys to see the mistakes I made and, you know, learn from them. Like we always do. So this right here, come on, focus, is the look I will be attempting. If this is not good enough, I will put a picture right here somewhere yeah so that's the look I will be attempting um, so the person that sent this to me she sent it on snapchat my snapchat fam her name is I am Maris and I hope I didn't mess your name up baby girl but yeah she sent me that name um, sent me that picture and I was like this is a good idea I'm gonna try this out it looks simple but hard and I can use everything that I have at home instead of going out and buying things to create this look and that's mainly why I wanted to do this so if you guys wanted to create recreate it you can use products from home oh and before I get into this video I am starting a new segment on my channel called real talk it will be not only with myself but with my boyfriend Keon where you guys will be sending lifestyle questions and things of that nature and I will be answering it as real as I possibly can real raw okay so the email will be in the description bar down below for you guys to start sending questions. And it will also be right here. Right Alright, so I'm going to do a voice over with this video just because I don't know what will happen. So I'm just going to dive into this and hope and pray for the best. All right, so we want this look to last all day. So I'm going to be priming my face with my Scandinavia Oil Control Primer Spray. And then I'm going to color correct with my LA Girl Pro Conceal Orange Corrector. And I'm going to blend that all out with my fingers instead of a beauty blender. For foundation, we want something full coverage and flawless. So today I'm using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick and this is in Y505 or the number 177. With stick foundations, I usually use a brush instead of a beauty blender because it is easier to blend and I still get the full coverage that I need. I'm going to mix in my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and this is in the color Macau. I'm going to add that just to add a little bit of a yellow tint because if you guys do not know, I am a yellow undertone. I still want to bring a little dimension to my face so I'm still going to highlight the areas that I usually highlight and I'm mixing concealers today. I'm using my Born This Way Concealer in Deep Tan and my Smashbox um 24 hour concealer in dark and i'm mixing them both and i'm going to blend that out with the brush as well and this brush i'm using from my vanity planet set i still have a discount code for you guys if you want to use it and i'm going to leave a link in the description bar down below and of course anything liquid you got to follow with powder so i'm setting my highlighted area with a dry beauty blender and my sasha buttercup powder And then I'm going to set the rest of my face and go over my highlighted areas with my Mineralize Skin Finish from MAC and this is in the color Dark. Then to prime my eyelids, I'm using the 24 hour photo finish eyeshadow primer from Smashbox and it's bomb guys, it's really really good. For this eye look and a little bit of the face, I'm going to use my 350 palette from Morphe. So for the eye look, I'm doing the halo eye effect and I'm just going to use my 350 palette in the black from my shadow couture palette. And I am blending like my life depends on it, of course. You guys know I always do that. So I'm going to use this fluid eyeshadow from Absolute New York, which is actually good as hell. I'm about to order a bunch of them. I used it for the center of the lid just to make sure that the other shadow that I'm applying on top pops and you guys... I swear it is so amazing I'm going to order more like I've never heard of this company before I went to BeautyCon oh. 
So I'm creating a wing using my NYC liquid liner and she winged it out very thick. Um, I did add towards the end and she brought it far into the, the inner corner of the eye. So I'm doing that as well to give it more of a very cat eye effect. I'm not really worried about the eye look, it's the face that I am really want to focus on. So I'm not really trying to explain it that much, but you guys get the gist. For eyelashes, I'm using my Soleil Lashes from Black Label um, Cosmetics. If you guys want, I have a discount code for that as well, and I will leave that in the description bar down below. So here I'm just lining my waterline with my Makeup Geek Cosmetics um, Full Spectrum Eyeliner and this is in the color Obsidane and then I'm blending it out with a flat liner brush and then I'm smoking out like really really smoking out underneath my eyes. This is the part that gets hard because I was moving a little too fast for my own good. So I'm smoking out the under eye area and I'm bringing the rest of the shadow, whatever's left on the brush, down my cheek, like kind of like a teardrop, kind of. And I'm trying to just take my time. But then while I looked at the picture, I was just making it bigger and bigger and bigger. And I, I literally went overboard with the black eyeshadow, as you can see from my face. But I just went with the flow. And I actually liked how it looked because it made the look look a little bit more scary. So I'm using my Morphe gel liner as a lipstick and it's also going to be the mouth part or the mouth piece of the look. Um, so first I'm just using the Morphe gel liner and I'm filling in my lips fully and I'm bringing it into the center of my lips so that while my lips are closed you guys cannot see inside of the center. Now my advice to you if you guys are going to attempt this look for Halloween take your time. Also, use black eyeshadow first because it's easier to like just put concealer over it than it is for gel liner. I learned that from doing this. This is my first, very first, first attempt at this. And I was moving a little fast because I kind of knew what I was doing. I didn't mess up that bad, but I knew if I would have used black eyeshadow first, it would have came out better. Now, I used too big of a um, flat concealer brush. If I would have used something smaller, I would have never messed up the lines that I already made. So then when I was done, I had to go back over it and fix the lines and crisp them up again. So my advice to you is take your time and use smaller detailer brushes. You have all the time in the world. Now I'm just going in with an orange eyeshadow and I'm putting it underneath where I put the mouthpiece at. Because when I looked at the picture, underneath the bottom looked kind of orange. So I just took like an angled brush and just filled some orange in at the bottom. Then I took black eyeshadow and I did the same thing. Lightly, I just brushed some lines through. It does not have to be neat. Of course, it's a Halloween mask. You don't have to worry about it. And I just put some lines around the face just to make it look like a jack-o'-lantern. So the forehead part of the video, I couldn't tell if she made lines or not, but it felt like it was the right thing to do to me to put lines on the forehead part so everything looked even. And again, I'm making the line, but I'm blending it so the line doesn't look like so crisp and so neat. Now I'm just bringing some dimension. I'm kind of contouring, so I'm using the black first to contour the face, and then I'm taking a brown eyeshadow and I'm blending out the black so the black doesn't look so harsh. So, <laughs> I did the best I could. A um, couple things I wish I would have did correctly. Because the picture wasn't um, that good, I couldn't tell what was going on in the forehead area. So, I just did what I wanted to do as far as, like, bringing the lines, you know, down. I wish I would have took my time with this so I could have made the lines more crisp. But other than that... This is pretty good for my very, very first attempt. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. 
and i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i always tell you guys like comment share subscribe follow me on all social medias i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video